In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this generic type animation in Adobe After Effects. So without any further ado, let's start. All right, so let's start with making a new composition. I'm going to call it design. Now the width and height is set on 9020. The duration is four seconds. So let's hit OK. Now on the next step, I'm going to go towards my type tool and I'm going to write the word yes. Now uh, the font weight is set on rock grotesque or light. So I'm going to duplicate this layer one more time. And this time I'm going to change it to black. So we will have something like this. However, let's just go towards the align tab and align these text to the middle. That's good. Now I'm going to create shapes from these two text layers. And we don't need the text layers, so let's just delete it. Now I'm going to use the crazy shapes to set path keys. Now I'm going to go towards one second and then I'm going to copy the path from the second layer and then I'm going to paste it to the first layer. So let's just delete it. So we will have a letter morph animation like this. However, this is not what we really want. So I'm going to select the first path. So this is going to be my Y and I'm going to shift it to the left. And then I'm going to select the S and I'm going to shift it to the right. And I'm going to shift the E a bit in here. However, I'm just going to select the end points and I'm going to stretch it like this. All right, that seems good. And now let's, and now let's bring back uh, the layer to its original position for a loop. So we'll have an animation like this. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select every keyframe and I'm going to go towards the keyframe velocity. I'm going to set the influence on 90% for both uh, incoming and outgoing velocity. So we'll have an animation like this. However, to make it even better, I'm just going to select the second path keys and then I'm going to shift them for two frames to the right. So we'll have an offset animation like this. Now that is good. Now on the next step, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go towards my assets panel and then I'm going to bring the texture film that I have downloaded over the internet. So this is the basically the texture that we have. Let's reduce this scale a bit. And now what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to add the time displacement effect. And I'm going to change the displacement layer to the texture that we have. And I'm going to set it on effects and masks. And let's just change the maximum displacement time to 0.7. And then let's increase the res time resolution to 250. And now let's play. So that is nice. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to call it echo. So basically I'm going to add the echo effect. Now, if I change the number of echoes to like, let's say 15, now I start to move, we will have an animation like this. Okay. And now we need to fix the positioning. So to do that, I'm going to decrease the echo time to uh, minus 0 0.010. So now th this will fix a lot of issues. However, let's just uh, decrease the decay parameter to a number such as like uh, 0.70. Now, if you have enjoyed this video so far, please don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot to grow my YouTube channel. All right. Now, what I'm going to do in the next step is that I'm going to bring the second texture in here. I'm going to press P to reveal the position and I'm going to move three frames forward. I'm going to push it a bit down and then I'm going to move three frames forward. I'm going to copy the first keyframe. I'm going to paste it. However, this time I'm going to move it up three frames forward again. I'm going to move it to the right and again on the 12 frames, I'm going to move it towards left. So we will have this animation. However, I'm going to change the keyframes to the uh, toggle hold and I'm going to add a loop path expression. So basically this will give us an animated texture like this. So what I'm going to do is that now I'm going to pick with this texture to the yes outline. 
So now our text has a now the rendering is drastically slow. So I'm just going to change the resolution to third so we can proceed faster. So now, as you see, our, we have some textures in here. Now let's create a new composition again and let's call it main. And this time I'm going to bring the design and let's play it. So we have an animation like this, which is quite nice. And I'm going to duplicate this uh, design a couple of times. And then I'm going to move it a bit down. I'm going to move the first one up and let's select them. Let's uh, align them. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new background. Let's call it background and let's move it down. And I'm going to add a gradient wrap effect. And I'm going to change the first color to a red color like this. And for the second one, I'm going to just make it darker. So that is nice. Now we have some effect like this, which is good. But something to mention is that if I add a fill effect over one of these layer, as you see, it will remove the texture. So to fix that problem, we need to add a tint effect. So if I now add the tint effect, I'm just going to uh, adjust it quickly. So let's just adjust some colors. So that is good. And then I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it for the other layers. However, this time I'm going to change the colors. Now, what I'm going to do on the last step, I'm going to bring the texture. I'm going to set it on here and then I'm going to change this mode to darker. So now we will have this effect. All done. Now, here we are at the end of this video. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much. Goodbye.